So with the current very basic code we have so far, uh, well, there's not much to report, right? I mean, it just looks like this, and these things aren't really going anywhere. Okay, that's fine. What I want to do now is just some very basic styling. Um, let's start by, well, we need a, obviously need to attach a style sheet to our document and we'll do just that. I want to style the container and obviously I don't want it in just this document. I want it to be a st external style sheet that's being loaded in. Just name it style.css for now. That's fine. And what did I want to do? Uh, sometimes I hate working with that CSS panel, so I just like to type stuff in manually since I like since I do it that way anyway. Um, what am I going to do? My container that's the that's going to hold everything. Since I want it to be centered in the middle, I guess I'll set the uh, I'll set margins for it um, first. And my margin, I want, what do we say, so the shorthand, top and bottom, so why don't I push it 40 pixels from the top and bottom, if there's a bottom, and the margin left and right to auto. Um, if you recall, this auto margin thing doesn't work unless you actually define a width. Now my width is going to be, how much what did I say? I said 450 pixels wide are going to be the pictures that go in there. So I definitely want it to be that width. And my height, if the height of my pictures are going to be 400, uh, obviously, I, well, I don't want my, see, if you think about it, my container holds both my my viewport and my navigation menu. So I need my height to be bigger than just my picture because it has to hold all that stuff so why don't I give it 500 pixels that's about a hundred extra, extra pixels down below uh, so far so good okay we kinda see in our Dreamweaver view a little bit of uh, what it looks like through the outline probably a good idea why don't we I don't know if I'm gonna keep the style this way but just for my own visual reference I'm gonna do a background color and I'm going to do the background color of the container to be white and maybe let me go up top over here and add um, body and I'm going to make my my background color for the body why don't I make it um, gray I think gray will jive yeah, there we go. So at least now, at least now, um, you just get an idea. I'm not saying this is what I like it to be, but it's just a visual reference for me to see what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, this should be, well, at at, at its you know very essence, this is just the start of it. There are some other interesting considerations, um, namely how we're going to be displaying these. Um, all these different classes that we have. Actually, why don't we do that just now? We'll start off with doing the just the image pane, and I, I'm doing it in camel case over here. Uh, you know what? Probably a bad idea to do a camel case. Uh, not that doing camel case for camel case sake is bad, but I've already done some of those other classes with with dashes. Remember that I set them up in my in my source code. These names to be dashes. Eh, so you know what? Since I haven't defined viewport yet, let's let's just do it that way, and maybe I'll do nav menu as well. Eh, you know, honestly, it's this is a little nuanced thing, but I I regard it as pretty important because once you go one way with your naming convention, you kind of want to commit to it, and maybe even as a personal style thing. Otherwise, a lot of these things are just you're just naming classes and IDs arbitrarily so you're you sometimes again your biggest obstacle with these things could be your syntax so try to keep it consistent and you'll and you'll definitely stay ahead of the game 